what it is, though. It's your boy Crook LDB Team 100. We in here, sure. And look, we're going to do three videos in one, and I'm going to give my take. And this video is going to all be about Russell Westbrook. First and foremost, shout out to Russell Westbrook, man. If you guys didn't know, he is the triple double king. It has been all over the news. He has recorded 183 triple doubles because he just got a triple double, I believe, yesterday. So he is the triple double king. Um, a lot has been said about Russell Westbrook. Um, as far as you know, he's stat padding, and you know, even though he's putting up all these stats, he's not competing for championships, things like that. I'm gonna get my opinion on it. But it's three videos that I want to react to, and then I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get into it, and they short and sweet. So this is him giving his locker room speech. This game is basically exactly how our season. We fought through a lot of punches, right? We fought through a lot of punches, and we handled it. Brad, big time toughness, man. As we, none of us knew what would happen today. We fought so hard to get to this eighth spot. Fought so hard. I mean, this, and, but we wouldn't want it any other way, right? But we, we're not stopping here. Let's take care of business the next couple of days. Get some rest, but we're going to meet tomorrow. We're going to meet tomorrow. Good job, Coach. What a fight, Coach. What a stick with us. What a stick with us, Brad. What a fight. Coach, good job tonight. Everybody got their part, do their part. Uh, my job, my, my bad tonight, fellas. My emotions are a little all over the place, but I wanted to. Bad as everybody else. Alright, so I apologize to everybody in here. I love y'all like my brothers, man. So let's get this next one. Family on three. One, two, three. Alright, so that's the first one. And then I want to see them turning up, bro. <laughs> hey guys, just uh, we've been through a lot, right? We're, now we're in the playing game. But we, we're not just, we didn't do all what we did just to get in the playing game. Let's just keep building. Just like we're same philosophy, day by day. Just keep building, keep building, keep building. Keep building. Hey, bring it in. Bring it in. What's good? This NBA content. Bring you guys most objective commentary on Lay Squad Thought the NBA. We got the Washington Wizards locker room here. They're hyped. They're celebrating after this glitch in this playing bird. Honestly, this is so exciting for Washington Wizards fans. They've waited a long time for this opportunity for them to yeah. be back in the playoffs. And this addition of Russell Westbrook has obviously been a huge help to this team, pairing alongside Bradley Beal. Russell Westbrook needs to get the credit he deserves for helping turn around this uh, Washington Wizards franchise. Bradley Beal obviously has had an amazing season thus far, and Russell Westbrook has been um, just the perfect fit alongside him. People talk about all the time about how Russell Westbrook is a tough teammate to play against, but you can just see uh, this duo works. I mean, Bradley Beal's putting up um, all-time career highs. Russell Westbrook is, is just playing on a different planet right now. And all around, uh, both of them are just playing like superstars right now. In the offseason, if the Washington Wizards are able to go after a third star, like possibly a DeMar DeRozan or something like that, I mean, that, that'd be excellent to add to this team. There's rumors right now that the Washington Wizards are trying to add a third piece to this team uh, to really solidify, solidify them as a true uh, playoff contender. But going back to tonight, I mean, this is a great win for them stealing this play in birth. And other than that, that's a wrap until next time. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts down below. And finally, subscribe if you guys are new to the family. And until next time, I'm out. I don't want to see, uh, I don't want to see DeMar DeRozan. I, I don't want to see DeMar DeRozan. Welcome back here to Capital One Arena. The Wizards players have just changed their t-shirts, jumping around Russell Westbrook. And why? Because on Monday night, he became the NBA's all-time triple-double king. This week, we all witnessed history, where Mr. Russell Westbrook became Mr. Triple-double. We couldn't be happier that you're a Washington Wizard, Russ, and we'd like to present you with a commemorative Wizards statement jersey to keep and remind you of the moment you rewrote history. Yeah.
appreciate the mission of organization that the people will put that together for me and being able to celebrate that in front of my own fans is always an unbelievable feeling. It's something that I put up and hang in my house, so I'm happy to be able to have something like that. Man, all right. So, here is my my take on Russell Westbrook. Listen, guys. Russell Westbrook is one of the most dominant sports figures that we have in the NBA today. I'm going to be honest with you. If Russell Westbrook did not play for a whole year, we would miss. It's kind of like he kind of has that Steph Curry effect. How, how Steph Curry was out for all last year. And I ain't gonna lie, part of the years, we kept saying, damn. I miss Steph Curry, yo. I miss Steph Curry dropping 40. I miss Steph Curry shooting nine threes and 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 making them. I miss the half-court shots. The thing is, is that we hold Russell Westbrook to a higher regard because we seen him. We seen when he was in OKC where he was jumping out of the gym on top of the backboard. You seen him when he was dunking and nearly trying to destroy the rim every time he dunked it. We seen the energy that he had, the high motor that he has. When Russell Westbrook had open court, you knew damn well you was getting out of the way. You was not defending that. You get out of the way. It was certain players you knew when they had an open court, nobody was there, don't even try. We hold Russell Westbrook to a higher regard, which is where the criticism comes in. Now, don't get me wrong. We love Russell Westbrook. I love Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is very entertaining. He's very fun to watch. It's just that the expectations that we had for him were not really satisfied with it. We're not content. And we're just, and we can just talk about the media, anybody in general. Yes, it's very great that Russell Westbrook is Mr. Triple Double. That's not what we want Russell Westbrook to be remembered by. We want Russell Westbrook to be remembered by championships. We want him to be remembered by a banner. You feel what I'm saying? We want him to be remembered as one of the greatest guards. Right now, he's only known as Mr. Triple Double. That's it. That's his milestone. And then at the end of the day, we have to accept it. The fact that he's the triple double king. But from our standards, we want to remember Russell Westbrook in a much higher, a higher light. As we see some of these players like KD, as a Steph Curry, as a James Harden. You feel what I'm saying? Players like that. We want to be, we want to remember him by those things. But we're not satisfied with him just being Mr. Triple Double. We want him to get the rings because he has all the talent in the world. For whatever reason, and there's a lot of myriad of reasons that he just hasn't meshed well. Um, and honestly, he hasn't been back to the second round. He hasn't been back to the playoffs. And, and well, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. He hasn't been back to the playoffs. But he hasn't been very far in the playoffs. I'll say that. The last time he went to the finals was with OKC. Other than that, he has not even sniffed the finals. So that's where I think that you feel me the criticism comes from. Me personally, I love Russell Westbrook. I think we need to give him his flowers. When Russell Westbrook is gone, we're gonna miss him. We're gonna say, damn. Because who knew that somebody was gonna break a triple double record? It might it might be somebody 20, 25 years from now that's gonna break his record. But for right now, no one's gonna break it right now. Nobody. So I give my flowers. To you feel me, Russell Westbrook, we gonna miss him. Guys, you have to realize a lot of these NBA stars, I said this in a couple videos. A lot of these players are getting old. Russell Westbrook is like 32, 33. Steph Curry is 33. LeBron is 36. You feel what I'm saying? Um Kawhi Lynn, I believe, is like what, 31, 32? Um Who else? KD is like 32, 33. A lot of these players are getting old, bro. They're getting old. They're getting old, bro. And before you know it, five years from now, half of these players are going to be retired. LeBron is already on his way out the door. He got like a few more years left. LeBron's all the way out the door. I can see Steph Curry probably retiring around 37. I could see Russell Westbrook retiring. He's 32 now, I think. He's retiring at like 37. 
You feel what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be a new league, and it's gonna be new faces of the of, of these different franchises, man. We need to take the time out to appreciate them. You feel what I'm saying? Take the time out to realize the impact that they had on us, and that they will continue to have on us. And let's just give them their flowers. So today's video is about giving Russell Westbrook his flowers, man. That's all it is. Now that is the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in, man. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are new to the channel. Like the video. Show some love. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate everything that you guys do. Social media is in the description, as you know, as I always say. Follow me on Twitch. That's in the description as well. I love you guys.